What are your thoughts on what's happening now in Israel? Uh, there's a lot of discussion of the, of the erosion of democracy, as if up until this election, Israel's democracy were, had been thriving. I don't care about Israel. I just, you know, I just don't. I, and, and, and I don't care to participate in discussions about the sham of a democracy. It's not, it's, you know, it's a democracy as much as this country was a democracy during slavery or, you know, as much as South Africa was a democracy during the height of apartheid. I mean, it's a big, it's a big fairy tale and it's a big sham that they um, push on the world. And I just, um, I really just don't care to, to even give it, you know, the value of, <laughs> of even, even a discussion. Um, I also call that land Palestine. It is always going to be Palestine to me, um, including the 48 borders. I, I consider them colonizers. And what else do you think people need to know about what's happening in Palestine, in Janine? Um, something I keep encountering. And I honestly, I know it's not true and I'm struggling with the best way to respond to it. But I, I'll post something on Twitter about uh, Palestinians being killed and people will say, oh, but they were terrorists. And, and some of these people are people who are not raging idiots. How do you deal with this problem of the, of the combination, the range from ignorance to just bigotry and racism? So again, you know, I don't really communicate with... <laughs> right, people who think like that, yeah. Yeah, I just don't. I mean, they're just not worth my time. I mean, I, they, they're just... I'm, it's, you know, my... Um, I don't see my role as, you know, somebody who's, who should be going to battle or, or try to educate um, people who are just sometimes, frankly, just irredeemably sure. um, racist. And I, I mean, I, I, you know, my time is better spent in dialogue with other Palestinians, with empowering our community, with um, uplifting our community and, uh, and, and fighting for, for liberation. So, um, you know, that said, um, I'm not, I don't always sort of adhere to my own lofty ideals and right. I do get sucked into, you know, these idiots and occasionally I will respond. And then I just have to remind myself like, God, what are you doing? You know, right. um, because it is easy to get sucked in. <clears throat> I think, um, this is a very old script. You know, it's a very old colonial script. You go in, you terrorize people, you say that God loves you the most and, and you're doing this because God, God is on your side and these people are savages or they're terrorists or they're backward or whatever, whatever the, the description of the day is. And, um, and then you kill them. You kill them all. And then... When they fight back, and they always will fight back because they're human beings, and and you and colonizers always underestimate um, indigenous people, then you know, um, then then you know you sort of you, you, you're the instigators. Excuse, you have an excuse. And you say, oh well, look what they did. I mean, you know, when when Native Americans would on the occasions when they did fight back against white settlers who would, you know, do the unspeakable to, to them, to whole, to whole tribes and whole towns. And, um, and when they fought back, they were brutal, you know, when they managed to, to, uh, uh, to do something. And, um, and then that where they were like, see, look how savage right. they are. They killed these women and children. Meanwhile, you know, whole families and communities of native Americans have been wiped out. Um, and that's all that's invisible until the white people got killed. And it's the same thing in this instance, this is another instance of settler colonialism and, and the, the, the extraordinary intense and persistent daily terrorism and violence and humiliation that, that is heaped upon Palestinians is completely ignored until we fight back. And, and when we kill an Israeli, um, it's, you know, 
suddenly the world lights up in the media and in, and then you get these buzzwords about the cycle of violence and and the brutality and then of course you know the magic word terrorist and and it's thrown around and then voila that's how you kill every palestinian that's how you know and it, and it's just it's it's just, it's incredible and like you said you know otherwise you know intelligent people um <laughs> Although I'm not sure that you can really call sure. the intelligent when they, when, you know, when they sort of buy into this. Um, but it is remarkable to see how um, how Israel has managed to have such a grip on public imagination through mainstream media. 